Welcome to part three of our Let's Play Masterwork Dwarf Fortress. I'm Arumba. Thank you for tuning in. In our last episode, we had just finished going through how the settings for the game launcher work, and we're getting ready to talk about the utilities that are included with the program. Now, there's two things I'd recommend you do before you really get into starting to play the game. First off, you want to do this large address aware patch. Most computers I find these days have a significant amount of RAM, and unfortunately, due to the way that uh, the 32-bit, 64-bit processor type change happened, it's, it's just affected the ability of, for computers to use large amounts of RAM. What this does is it allows your Dwarf Fortress EXE to use all of the RAM your computer has instead of just two gigabytes. So you're going to want to basically open this up, target your Dwarf Fortress EXE, which is going to be one folder down from the file that you downloaded and this settings that we, we've launched. Find Dwarf Fortress EXE, open that up, and then you're going to want to click, or leave this, this click, check this box to enable the application to use more than two gigabytes of memory. So then you click Save, the update has been performed successfully, and you've automatically fixed the RAM settings. You can actually use this software that's bundled in with this package here to update any program on your computer. Um, it's actually not just made specifically for Dwarf Fortress. Now, once you've done that, you're also going to want to start downloading your SoundSense files. But before you can really use SoundSense, it's going to need to know where is the game log that I'm going to play sounds for you from. And if you run SoundSense before actually running the program, there won't be a generated game log.txt file. So first off, we're going to just quickly run Dwarf Fortress. And now we're going to close it. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Now, when we run SoundSense, it's going to say, okay, where is game log.txt? We're going to want to go to our Dwarf Fortress directory and then find the game log.txt file that this has just created. Keep in mind that if you have not yet run the game at least one time, this file will not exist. So you must run it even for just a brief moment to get this game log.txt file to generate. Now you click open. And then before this is going to really do anything for you, it's going to have, it comes with just some sample sounds. There's not much here. We need to go over here to Pack Update and click this Start Automatic Update button. So when we do this, it's going to start downloading. It's about 230 megabytes. So it might take you just a little bit of a time to, uh, to get everything that you need. It's automatically going to get all the sounds that we are going to use to play the game. So. Go ahead, let that download, and uh, when you come back, hopefully the next episode will be up, and we'll start talking about a couple of the other additions that are included. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next episode.